Good morning! Today I'm going to be making banana bread and this recipe is a really healthy recipe. It's one I found on Pinterest and my brother really likes it and he requests it all the time and so I'm going to make him um, two loaf pans of that this morning. So that's what you'll be seeing. I'll put the recipe down below and I'll try and find the link for the Pinterest recipe that I found where I originally found it and I hope you enjoy. This is a really delicious recipe and um, let me know if you make it. Okay so I don't know if it's gonna appear very well on the computer screen or f phone wherever you're watching but here is the recipe and I will go ahead and like I said before put that down in um, down below. Um, so we're preheating the oven to 350 and it cooks for it doesn't say in the at least the screenshot that I have but I cook it for an hour and since I'm making two loaves I cook it for even or bake it for even longer than that um, you just kind of have to watch it so okay so the first thing is flour it calls for two cups of flour I'm doubling it so I'm doing four for one teaspoon of baking soda. I'm going to do two since I'm doubling it. And a fourth teaspoon salt. Next is a fourth cup coconut oil and they do the recipe is a fourth cup coconut oil fourth cup unsweetened applesauce and three-fourths cup honey so the way I do it is you definitely have to do the applesauce the oil and then the honey because the oil and the applesauce make it easier for the honey to come out so <laughs> is I just take all the eggs, put it in the bowl, and then take a um, fork, you know, whisk them um, in the bowl, and it does the same effect, I think. And I have tasted a difference in the bread that I've done that with and the bread that I haven't done that with, and I thought it was just dumb to do that in a recipe, like follow specifically, but um, I guess not. So once I'm done whisking all of this together, the eggs, I mean, um, I think some of the honey's in there too, then this is what it looks like. So it kind of looks funny, but it's easier than cleaning a different bowl. <laughs> Adult life. Now the next thing is two and one third eggs, not eggs, that would be hard. Two and one third cups mashed bananas. So, um, sorry about the mess back there. I'm sure it's not very appealing. <laughs> I love puns so yeah but this is what it looks like when you're mixing it it's not very appealing I didn't want to make another pun but sorry about the bad camera angle or whatever I um, am holding it with my left hand <laughs> so I'm going to go ahead and mix this and then I'll show you what it is afterwards Okay, so this is what it looks like after you mix it. I had to go ahead and get the hand mixer out because the spatula just was not making, was not doing it. Um, and I think if I double it any more, 
I'll have to get, I'll definitely be using my KitchenAid because it was just impossible to mix with this and it was really hard to mix with the hand mixer too. So next thing is to spray, spray these if, excuse my messy counter, obviously I've been making, um, spray these or put like butter, coconut oil or something in them and then put the, um, batter in it. Okay, so this is what it looks like when it's in. I tried to split it as evenly as I could. Um, I can tell that I didn't mix it very well because there's coconut oil right there, but I think it's going to be good. I thought about putting, I usually put walnuts or um, chocolate chips in them, but I thought about putting some cinnamon over them. I may do one to see how it is just for something extra because um, I don't have walnuts. And yeah, I'll show you what it looks like at the end. So I did end up putting cinnamon over one, as you can tell that one there. And I, now I'm going to set the timer for 65 minutes. And we'll see how it goes. Okay, so the bread just got done. Um, I took it out of the oven and it still needed about five more minutes. Um, it wasn't quite done. I baked it for 65 minutes, so about 70 minutes for two loaves. Um, but if you do just one, I would, you know, start with 60. And um, I accidentally did leave it in for seven more minutes, so it cooked for 72 minutes total. Um, one of the one of the loaves looks a little darker because I did put cinnamon on it. So here's what it looks like. So this is the one with cinnamon, obviously, and I think you can still see that coconut oil that didn't mix right, but here is what it looks like. I hope you enjoyed this video, and if you try this recipe, let me know how you like it.